Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. You are strong, you can deal with this. None of us really know just how strong we are and sadly it takes going through something quite nasty to actually teach us and to actually show us almost in life's mirror that you can do this. You're stronger than you think, you are more capable than you think and you are going to get through this. Even in the worst storm possible of your life, it passes. And of course, as with any storm, usually a bright day follows. And then, of course, after that, we're left to deal with the consequences. And it's then where we look back on things of how we dealt with a situation or how we came through it. And we actually look back and we think, you know, wow, I got through this. Today, I want to talk to you about something which has wrecked an element of my life. Um, I can now talk about it. It's financially. Uh, I have been through a horrific fraud and I finally, after nearly one year, have got to the bottom of it today and I finally found a resolution and somebody is on my side. So many, many times I felt like literally putting my head on my desk and just literally, to be quite honest with you, crying my eyes out. Sometimes Sometimes, as I say, it takes us to go through something difficult to actually teach us how, how, how strong we are inside. So first of all, I really want to just say that whatever you're going through, and believe it or not, uh, I, I'm, well, I'm 30 years of age and I have been through some pretty tough things. And just to list off um, a few of them, I think the hardest thing in my life ever to deal with was losing my dear Nan, who was my mum's mum, my absolute world. And losing my nan, that was the hardest thing. Okay. And that's a completely different, that's a completely different subject. And I'm never going to turn around and say that you get over that because you never get over losing someone you love and somebody who is your world. Okay. But that's for another day. Next, watching my mum go through a horrific operation this year, right? You do get through that, but you support you love, you work hard, you're there in the weak times, you're there where there's tears, you're there in the moments of weariness, you're there when the person is scared, and you see this person who is so composed and so there for you always, and just seems to be able to take on everything, but yet in this moment of life, you can see that they are petrified. That was hard, but we got through it, that storm passed, and a brighter, beautiful blue sky followed. Next, my own operations. Yeah, that was pretty damn scary. But I'm not going to say you, I'm not completely through that, but you, the storm passes. You get what I'm trying to say? So recently, this has been one of the hardest things to have gone through for the past year. I've had to watch, um, for example, my credit score uh, absolutely hit rock bottom. And little by little, I've had different opportunities financially be stripped from me. Um, but that's really hard to get back up from that and to fight a fraud. So I'll just tell you quickly a little bit about it. So uh, it was last last Christmas I noticed that some I was having some letters come through and didn't think no more of it. Um, one by one, called them through, and I went through a bit of a series of real nasty fraud. I had a number of contract firms set up in my name. I had uh, some fraudulent loans taken out of my name. I had some bank accounts taken out in my name. And it totaled to a lot of money. It really, really did. And it was incredibly stressful. And it took me a three month period to get that resolved. And that, I think, totaled, I think, first of all, when it started, it totaled around £17,500. And then that grew to about £21,500. And I managed to get that sorted. And that three month period was really stressful. It was call after call. It was visits to banks. It was taking time from work, taking time at the weekend from poor experiences to bad experiences to people talking to me like, what do you want me to do about it? To amazing people I've met in this world who really, really helped me through that. Um, then there was this one thing, a contract phone which I could not get the company. I'm not sure if I can mention the company, but I could not get the company to recognize that it was fraudulent. They couldn't find any details at all. And it was stressful. You may think that it was just a contract phone. This contract phone ran up thousands and thousands of pounds and led to another one. And they still couldn't find this profile. So all throughout 2023, 
the bills have been growing and final demand letters and things have been coming through. And I literally took this to everybody. I took this to try to take this to the telecoms, uh, communication, uh, ombudsman. I took this to the police. I took this to real high up places in society where you think that there will be help and support. And I was shocked to learn the lack of support in instances, which is very isolating. And to be quite honest with you, damn frightening, that actually little by little, my credit score was getting destroyed and the way I was leading my life was changing. There was different things which, to be quite honest, nobody should ever have to go through in terms of fraud. Threatening letters, collections, agencies in regards to this one fraudulent experience. And as I say, this went on month after month of letters coming through and me taking I mean, this was a regular occurrence about twice a week, me calling, calling customer services, trying to get more information, then me going away, writing letters to addresses, taking it to complaints departments, and yet never once hearing anything from a complaints team at all. Taking it to all different high-end financial bodies and ombudsmen, and I've been through it all, and I've had every conversation, and there, there was really were well times where I really did not know what I was going to do, and it was absolutely destroying destroying me sort of inside. The stress, I have stress-related hair loss, which I've talked about on my channel quite a lot. Um, that, I really do think, impacted that a lot. Um, I'm in the phase of looking at buying my first home. That quickly went out the window with anything in regards to mortgages and things like that. You can well imagine if your credit score isn't very good. And month by month, I was getting those notifications come through and everything was just just depleted. Everything I was slowly just watching just disappeared, to be quite honest with you. I had two <clears throat> I had two financial things which were um, withdrawn from me because of the state of my credit score. Um, I'll be honest, I, my bank accounts have changed because of credit scores. And you can well imagine, I come from an industry where it is very reputable in terms of how you look after your own finances. Um, my trade is an, as an accountant. So you just imagine, you just imagine that the actual negativity and the impact, what, to be honest, morally kind of destroyed me. There have been tears. I will actually say that there have been tears where I have literally cried to my mum and dad thinking, how am I ever going to get back up from this? The debt, what was piling up was absolutely excruciating. It really, really was. Now, after goodness knows how many calls, how many calls I finally got through to somebody, I'd say about a three week period ago. And I called and I called the company and it was just over three hours on the phone of all different people. And I was working at my desk and um, this was on a, a Sunday afternoon. I was doing things on the channel and I had the phone by the side and it was on hold and time, the whole afternoon just went. We had family members and things around. I didn't get to see them. I was just constantly dealing with this. And then, unfortunately, I've been having problems with vertigo, and um, I've had, for one reason or another, I'm not too sure, I'm having a lot of medical problems at the moment. I had a fall, and then a couple of weeks um, on from that, I recently just had another one. Hospital visits, that type of thing. Unfortunately, it's really slowed me down to being able to call the company back. I called them this afternoon, and I said that actually this person, because um, I was being passed for all different departments, and this person actually got back to me and they said, actually, we found we found a profile and they shouldn't have a profile because I've never had any business dealings with them. Um, and they said, well, it's actually on this certain platform. And you know what? I was put on uh, hold for about 30 minutes and then the call died. Worst feeling in the world. So I left it for everything, as I've mentioned, which had gone on. And I finally called this afternoon back and um, I was on. I was on the call for about an hour and I got through, I mean, faith to me, by the way, is absolutely everything. My faith has got me through so much in this life and my incredible parents and my dear Nan as well. Faith to me is the guiding light, the path I've been blessed with in this life. I will be eternally grateful to the Lord above. And I feel he talks to us through so many different ways. And, um, I read something, uh, no, not read something, I was watching something actually uh, a little while back. Um, I said a little while back, about a week ago. And um, it was that there is nothing the Lord can't do because he works through you. And I thought, wow, Lord, I really needed that. I really needed that today. And I pray every day and I really, really needed that in that moment. I felt really just bitterly rock bottom 
financially what I was going to do and well-being and stress and stuff with tinnitus and all sorts of things. And, and yeah, it was hard. But yet yeah, that came to me. He came to me through that. And I thought, you know what? It came to me today. Pick up the phone, Bradley. Let's try again. I got through to the most amazing, beautiful soul of a person. She was incredible. And she took every time. And I have a hearing problem. And she took all the time in the world to repeat things going back and forth. A blessing to mankind. She really is. And she finally got through to this department. She said, OK, OK, Bradley, I will go make the call myself. I won't pass you over. She did. An hour later, they finally found, after a year, after a year of so much stress, and I'll be honest, trauma, okay, and um, yeah, tears the lot, you can really, really imagine. And when she told me, I could have literally burst into tears, and I was very emotional, because actually they'd found a fraudulent profile, and that they started the process there and then. And someone was going to be in touch with me within a 30 day period to resolve this. They couldn't pass you through security because I'm not a customer, which I thought was fine. At least somebody, and I've got this reference now, come through to my email address and they've, they've captured it. So my friend, okay. Anybody who's watching this, you are strong. Okay. You can deal with this. The amount of times I kept saying to myself, I can't cope anymore. I really cannot cope with this as well as the health things going on in the background. I'd started two jobs amongst that. Uh, I left one job and then I started another job and I took on more responsibilities and role. And I really could not. On some days it was really, really hard. And I'm a f true, true believer that we're all going through something. So always be considerate whenever you're speaking to anybody. So I didn't, I didn't give this out at all to people. I would always try to, my parents, bless them, they really have got me through this as well, and um, and my faith. And you know what? You really don't know how strong you are until you get to that point. Yes, it's a resolution. Usually when you find out how strong you are, it's when you're through that storm and that bright blue sunny sky. You then see that bright blue sunny sky. And it's right now when I think to myself, do you know what? You are strong. You can get through this. And I know a lot of people will think, well, it's fraud. It's only money. You can you can get through this. But you know what? I try telling myself that one sometimes. And you know what? It's hard then to get back up for it because this world, of course, our lives revolve around our financial well-being and our finances, doesn't it? It really, really does. And do you know what? I was in a position where I did not know which way to turn. But you are strong. You can deal with this. You get there. My faith was a guiding light for me. My mum and my dad, he said, you know what, you're going to get there. This, it's all going to get sorted. It's all going to get sorted. Bear in mind, my many phone calls to the police and the fraud teams and everything like that, I never had anybody come back to me from that. Anybody at all come back to me. Not at all. I think, you know, you get more attention if you were to get a speeding ticket or a parking ticket than what you do fraud, sadly. And um, <clears throat> and that needs to change. I don't know how that can be changed, but that seriously needs to change. Um, but you are. Do you know what? You really, really are. And whatever you're going through, whoever's watching this, you will get there. You really, really will because you're stronger than you think. You really, really are. And you can deal with this. If you're going through a similar situation yourself, just keep at it. And I know it's so easy for me to say that. Do you know it's not? Because I've really, really been there. And it is a hell. But that persistence. And sometimes, you know what? If you're not getting there, sometimes it's okay to, to shut the laptop or to put the pile of papers which you've received through the post to one side. Just make yourself a drink. Take your time. Watch your favorite TV program. Go out and have a walk in, in the fresh air. Or leave it for a week or more. If it's a long-standing, drawn-out situation, leave it for a week or more. Do something fun. Come back to it. Come back to it with a clear, level head and keep at it. If it's all too much for you today, don't approach it. Approach it tomorrow. But you will get through this. You are stronger than you think. You really, really are. And remember, there is only one of you. And if you are not of faith, then you're a blessing to this world. Okay? And there's only one of you and you're going to get through this. But if you are of faith, remember, there isn't anything the Lord of us can't do because he works through you. And I would love to credit myself with that, but I can't. It was somebody else. I can't quite remember who it was now. Um, but yeah, hold on to that and you will get that. And just remember, you've got this. 
you can deal with this and you're probably already on the way of dealing with this. Okay, thanks very much for listening to me. And on that last note, as we approach the festive season, let's just be extra safe with our personal details as well, because fraud is damn right nasty to deal with. And if you've got a loved one going through that, just please, please support them. And you know, I always kept thinking throughout all of this, what if this was Nan? What if this was my Nan going through this? How on earth would she have coped? It was hard enough for me. But you know what? As I say, we get there. We are strong. And you know what? I think just that lasting note that we're all individuals. Some of us can deal with this easily. Some of us can't. Some of us make out we deal with it. And deep down inside, we're not dealing with it. So just be courteous. Just be understanding. And just be conscious that everybody's going through something. Okay. On that note, God bless. Thank you very much. And take great, great care. And until next time. Okay. Remember, you are a blessing. There's only one of you in this world. And I'll be seeing you real, real soon. If you do have any questions or anything at all, which for anything I've covered here, please leave them down below and I will absolutely get back to you. Okay. On that note, God bless and take great care. And I will be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.